Kabbalistic story about the Lama and Vav, the, the, the righteous, how many of them are there? Do you remember? 36. 36, thank you very much. <laughs> there are 36 good people in the world. <laughs> and, and the Messiah, or oh God, is always about to say, you know, this thing doesn't seem like it turned out of the oven right, you know. <laughs> Everybody's kind of crazy, you know. And they're killing each other, and they're mistreating each other, and they're hurting the animals, and I think I'm just going to destroy the world, you know. And, uh, and then, uh, I guess it's the Messiah, is it? The Messiah points out, but there are 36 good people. <laughs> And so I said, all right, I'll let him keep going. <laughs> and so there's something about you don't know the consequences of, you, of, a, of a true movement of the heart, a true opening of the hand. And, um, and so to know that it's all hopeless is, is not not knowing. We don't know that, you know. But we, we know that there's a lot of suffering in the world, but we don't know that our efforts are no use. Yeah. Uh, we do know it's unlikely that we'll stop um, in that sense, you know, we'll stop you know, war or hunger or whatever it is. But we can, you know, have a shot at it and I think, you know, we can do our best, you know. And doing our best might be, you know, I don't know. But, but there's a mysterious, it's knowing too much to know that it's hopeless. Despair is always knowing too much. It's a kind of arrogance of the, you know, the small self in a way, you know. And so it's always too early to know. But I, and I notice in myself, I, you know, you notice in yourself, the thing is, but what about you? You know, what about you in your heart? Like, does it give you joy when you give way to, you know, opinions like, like, somebody who's saying, let's go to war and let's get them. Until there's something sort of wrong about that. You know, it doesn't feel like you can tell in your heart that's the sort of path that should be, if it ever embarked on, should be embarked on hesitation and sorrow <laughs> sort of thing. And, um, and so you can tell that it can't be Zen. So. You know, it's like, um, you know, you, you find this in all religions, of course. I think of um, one of the people, I, I kind of like the original Francis, uh, the, the guy who liked animals and birds. And, uh, and that was a time when there was like fierce, like, you know, people were torturing heretics and all sorts of things, you know. And, um, and he was sort of crossing the lines and having chats with Sufis and stuff, you know, so it's like, there's always that option. <laughs> And that option is in, like, the mind goes away into, it's all screwed because these people did that, you know. And that can't be it. <laughs> you, you can feel in your heart, oh, I don't know, it feels kind of small. Feel the moment, feel what is, this moment is what you came here to this planet for, yeah? So if we feel the moment, yeah, everything you ever loved is here, you yeah. know. And you're here, and actually, um, we've always been here. 